Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. And welcome back. It's time for Laos. Not the country in uh, Southeast Asia, but Laos? Yeah, it's Laos. Uh, once we're across, we'll be more or less halfway there. Jonas. Marcus, sir. Yes, Marcus. Inform the guard that we intend to ferry across. Everyone else, be on guard. Once we're across, we'll be in the heart of Darren's lair, and that's not a place I've ever felt welcome. As much as I begrudge him, I wish Father would just grant him those island deeds already. The sooner he gets his magnificent bridge built, the sooner we'll all be able to ride straight through without so much as waving to him. My lord. Speak freely, Eagler. Unless we're in another lord's company, I'd rather you treat me like a brother in arms. Of course. I wish to ride north a ways. I saw, thought I saw something on the way in. I thought I saw a putty tat. Is that what you saw? Who is that? Sir Eagler! It can't be. Oh, hooray! It's one of my favorite characters. There you are. I rode out after you as I rode out after you as soon as his father fell asleep. He was down in no time at all, thanks to Uncle Lundgren's long reports. Lady Madeline, surely you didn't ride here alone. Ma Madeline, it's Lynn's mom. Oh, it's good and cute. I'm not a child anymore, Sir Eagler. I've gotten quite good with the horse, I think. Good enough to escape a band of highwaymen, my lady. What? What are highwaymen? You can't be serious. Lady Madeline never paid much attention to her lessons, I'm afraid. And look at that sassy face. It's very good. Sure I did. I can pop bones back into place like they were never broken, and close a wound without any scarring. I can also identify plants, dry leather, and string a bow. I'm quite capable, thank you very much. Dry leather? String a bow? My lady, these activities are highly unfit for a woman of your stature. Hmph, <laughs> says you. I think I'm gonna like you, Lady Madeline. My lord, I beg you. Look, here comes Sir Matthew. Maybe Lord Darren will lend my lady an escort once we're across. Uh, the nice thing about uh, Uther and Marcus's dynamic is that Uther constantly calls Marcus by the wrong name and constantly refers to him as names of other Fire Emblem characters. Uh, I think. I don't know about Mikey. I don't know about Jonas. I haven't played games with those characters in them. But Matthew, it's Fire Emblem 7. I think eventually he calls him Merrick. It's, it's good stuff. Good fun for me. A big nerd. Well, here he comes. Now we find out if I'm being paranoid or not. Hello, Lord Uther, and Lady Madeline as well. Isn't this precious? A private meeting of the League, to be sure. Hail, hey, Darren. I just want to pass through. Father sent me an urgent summons. My, this is something of a problem. Our borders are currently closed, my dear Lord Uther. No merchants, no bards, no diplomats. We can't make exceptions for royalty. Ooh, I love that. I love when they put the little pause in the dialogue revealing. <sighs> Turns my crank. It's good stuff. You can, and you bloody will. The Gaul. Watch your tongue, my lord. My authority supersedes yours within these borders, and I won't hesitate to detain you if you give me cause. I mislike this man, Lord Uther. I say we go around him and try not to meet his gaze. I like that idea, milady. Come, troops. Mount up. The only person who has a mount is, uh, is Eagler, so everyone get on a horse. What? You cannot ignore me, you petulant whelp. We're in a hurry, friend. You can block us if you wish, but I'm afraid we can't let you slow us down. Onward, good knights. No quarter! Very good. She's very good. <laughs> no, milady, we're just gonna rough them up a bit. And, uh, and we don't kill anyone, I guess. It's, it's a very Fire Emblem conquest in that we, we don't kill them. And of course, I get a ding-dang text from a Julia friend right now. Ugh! She just, she just knows when I'm recording another Fire Emblem game without her. My, my Lord Uther, Lady Madeline, you must not do this. Lady Madeline. Oh, he just doesn't want to see his his charge get get hurt. Oh, here's another fucking trainee. <laughs> Madeline. At least she's a trainee healer. Uh, and she's, I think, the only healer we get for a long time with Uther. Uh, she's got a dope staff, the fixed staff. Wow, it's great. It can heal at range 2 and it cures poison and it heals for more than a heal staff, I think. It's only got 30 uses, but we can get more. And we got Eagler. He is the... Oh my god, what's the term? He's the Jagan. He's the Jagan of, of Uther. Uh, and he's got 
pretty well-rounded stats. He's got a big fuck-off spear uh, and uh, an iron sword, which is fine. I usually give the iron sword to someone. Uh, he can also heal people by uh, removing his own health, which is is very nice. And he's got he's got the the horse canto stuff. It's it's good. It's effective. Anyway, uh, this mission is is pretty straightforward. It's it's a go up and kill Darren. Darren being an axe knight, axe cavalry, an axe. Uh, yeah, just call him an axe cavalier. And there's also sword cavaliers called gendarmes. Uh, Darren is called a cohort. And then, uh, Laos dude here is called a vanguard. He's a lance, lance cavalier. Uh, Marcus will be a vanguard. Isadora will be a gendarme. And Harkin won't be shit. He'll be a drifter, because we're not going to use him. Because I don't want to. We get enough sword boys in game. Alright, let's have Marcus advance. Just get him up, because he's a slow boy. And have Eagler go sit in this house. Yeah, I'm checking who it is. Stop yelling. What do you want? Are you from the government? I'm asking them, woman. Look, I already told your friends that we're not paying a single dirty copper. We've pulled water from the river since Darren was an itch in his dawe small clothes. And I'll torch my own wife before I let him tax us for it. It's a figure of speech, you witch. Let me give you a word of advice, stranger. Don't let yourself get trapped in a relationship you didn't want. Oh, shit. You've only a few chances at making lasting partnerships in your life, so you have to choose them wisely. Yes, yeah, talking about supports. Thanks, man. Wait, you say you're fighting, Darren? Here then, you take the money and give him a good kick from me. Well, I ain't letting you waste it on silverware again. Oh, the sassy NPCs. They're sassing it up. Good times. Ooh, did you see that? We get we get to build support ranks in this chapter. Uh, if you end your of unit's movement within three spaces of the unit that it can support with, they get a little heart and it goes a little whoop. Uh, much like in, I think, did they start doing that in Awakening? I think? Uh, it's very good. It's very nice to see who you can get uh, support points with, especially as we haven't unlocked the uh, the true prep screen yet. But we will. Uh, I, I promise. I promise, guys. We're gonna see that screen. Alright, let's see. These Axe Boys are not drunk. But they're also not super strong, right? Yeah, they've got higher strength, but their skill's still miserable. So I'm, I feel fairly confident just popping Isadora up in the front line with Uther to watch her back. And we can have Lady Madeline talk to Isadora. Hooray! Lady Madeline, to me! Oh, hello there. You're a quaint little thing, aren't you? I, I beg your pardon? Why, half of our force are children. This is a battlefield, not a nursery. But, my lady, you can't be much older than me. Perhaps, but I'm nobility. Yeah, well, I'm a knight. Or at least, I'm trying to become one. I'd say I'm a little better equipped for these brutes than you are. Perhaps you're right, but I can use curative magic. Don't think you've talked me out of this fight. Fair enough. Stay nearby, then. I might need your help. It's a deal. Oh, yay, they have a good time together. We'll get Harkin way the fuck away so we don't accidentally get support ranks with him. <laughs> Whoops. Be a bummer. Uh, going for Uther, I guess. It's, maybe it's because he can't double them. Yeah, I bet it's because Isadora will do more damage to them. Uh, and they do, they do just miserable damage to him. But, I mean, I'll take it. They'll let Isadora get... Uh, some, some kill those. It's not as much as I might want. But let's give him a stab. Uh, what's nice about the, uh, the, about the mercenaries and the fighters in this game is that they both get focus. So if, if we had Harkin trained up, he would get the focus ability. The focus, if I haven't mentioned it, uh, gives a unit plus two attack power and defense when they move one tile or less. Uh, is there any way we can not kill these guys? Nope, Eagler will just murder them. That, that's fine, but not ideal. I, I want I want Marcus to get experience, but I also want to like progress in this map. Don't want to just grind against the waves of them. But also, whatever. Who gives a shit? Uh, can he kill with an iron sword? Yes. Can Isadora kill with? 
iron sword. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cha bow bow. Gestaba. Give him a stab. Good job, Izzy. She's cranking up in levels. She's what, level four? Almost five? I'll take it. And then Uther gets to do a big chunk of damage to him. Yeah. There's a little bit... I, a, I like that it shows the number of the damage dealt to him on the... Uh, well, on hit. Great level, by the way. Great level for Uther. Strength and speed? Delightful. Uh, could always use more um, defense, because he's, he's going to end up being a tanky boy, but at this point, I'll fucking take it. I'll have Madeline get a couple of Iron Swords, because we got a couple of swords, and an Iron Lance. And that's it for me. Thanks very much. And then Eagler will just chill there. It'll be fine. And... Who's next, motherfucker? Yeah, come at Marcus with your Zanbato, because you'll fucking murder Eagler with it. <laughs> Not murder, murder, but what I like is that enemies have the Zanbato in this in this game, and peep, even though Eagler is a Jagan, he's still threatened by things. There's there's enemies with like Reaver weapons or uh, anti-horse weapons, and they they can still threaten him. So he's not like a an early game fire and forget type character. All right. So, Eagler will murder him and murder him. Marcus will just not quite murder him. Unfortunate. Uh, but I don't want him to get any hits off on Eagler, so I'm going to have Marcus come around a little bit and do a stab. Do a stab. Thank you. He hits back with Zanbatu. Zanbatu? Is Zanbatu a real sword? Is it? I, I mean, I don't know that much about real swords, quote unquote, but whatever. And Eagler gets a good stab. A good stab on that mercenary. Well done, Eagler. Well stabbed. And they're they're getting a little little support hearts together. Maybe I'll maybe we'll go into Marcus and Eagler supports. I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. Uh but I mean because I tend to go for romance supports, because I'm I'm a romantic boy. But maybe maybe this time. You know? Maybe someday. That does ten. Uh, do like 18 Jesus Christ yeah let's do the bronze sword from Uther and then whatever fucking sword we want from Isadora I like the fluid animations of the sword cavalry they they changed it from the oh god cavalier uh I want to call them social knights but it's just because we've been playing Fire Emblem 6 on the uh with, with Julia friend oh fuck off Dora fuck off with that shit what do you think this is? Fucking a different Fire Emblem game? And then you get this bullshit level up again. I mean, Resistance I'll take for the Light Brand. Because I think Light Brand goes off of Resistance in this game. We'll see. Um, do you, you cannot hit Madeline if you stay put. Great. Great, 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 great. We'll see what this horse boy does. He kills himself on Uther. Which... It makes sense because Uther is technically the least likely to kill him between Is Isadora and Uther. Uh, but it's still frustrating for me because <laughs> I wanted Isadora to get killed. Oh well. All right. Next time on Tim Friend, we will uh, advance through these 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 horses and kill this this Darren boy, this this evil man. All right. See you tomorrow, everybody.